Welcome back for week five of Trout in the Library. We're excited to have you back again. This week we are talking about the external anatomy of trout. What does that mean? Well, it's basically the parts that form the outer surface of something. So what are we gonna see when we look at the outer surface of a trout? Well, one thing you're gonna look at right away is you're gonna notice the color. Now our trout are actually rainbow trout. So the rainbow, that word gives you a clue. Ours have a lot of color. Uh, basically, it starts with a red lateral stripe right down the side of the trout. Uh, then we might see a little green, a little brown, a little orange. If you really look at the trout, you're gonna see a lot of different colors. Now, what temperature the water is and what the fish eat can affect the coloring of the trout. Even here, our little trout, um, we're noticing a little bit of color variation within the albin. So if you go onto our trout cam and have a look around and see if you can notice that there's at least two, two trout that have a little different coloring than the rest. Um, the one thing that you find about the coloring of different animals and especially our trout is nature has uses camouflage. And what camouflage is, is that helps animals and fish hide from predators, which are other animals or fish that would like to eat them. So let's look at our trout again. And maybe you notice the bottom of our rainbow trout is a really light color. Well, that the reason for that is because if a predator was underneath the trout and the trout was in the water and the predator looked up, it's going to see that light color. So it's not going to look like a shadow as much in the stream. So that's their camouflage to help them hide from a predator. Now, if a predator was swimming over the top of a trout and it saw black speckles and some of those darker colors, in a stream, remember that's where we are, it might think, oh, there's pebbles under there. So the camouflage is the pebble coloring that the fish has on the top. So that's one of the things that we're gonna see on the external part of a trout. What's another part that you might see? <gasps> scales, fish have scales. Now, the thing about trout scales, especially rainbow trout scales, Theirs are very thin. Um, they're almost, you almost can't feel them. They're so fine and they're embedded into the skin. That's how theirs are. Uh, you'll find other fish, a more primitive fish might have a thicker and harder scale. Now, why do you think that might be? Oh, predators, think about that. If you were a predator and you were gonna bite into a fish, what would be the harder one to get through? The thicker scale, right? So the rainbow trout, they have a thinner scale, so they don't have that hard protection, but it helps them to be fast. And if you've seen our Alvin, they are quick. So yeah, so the scales are gonna be different on different fish, that's another thing we can see. Um, another part of the fish that we see are the fins. And trout have a lot of different fins. We see some on the top, some in the bottom, on the sides. Well, and they all have different names. And there's some that are just one and some that are pairs. So it'll be one on one side of the body and one on the other. Well, of the ones that don't have pairs, the singles, you have this up on top that is a dorsal fin and there's only one. Then you have an anal fin, it's down in the back, and then you have a caudal fin. Now those three fins are only one. So the dorsal and the anal, they help the fish stay upright, and the caudal is like the rudder. It gets that fish moving down the road. Well, then we have pairs, that there's two. And all of these fins have special jobs. They help move the fish because fish don't have hands, they don't have legs, so the fins are what help them go. And the paired ones are the ones up here, and that's a pectoral fin on one side and the other. 
and whoops, pictorial fin. They work like a brakes. If the fish is going forward and they need to stop, mm -hmm. they put on the brakes with their pectoral fins. There's also pelvic fins, one on one side and one on the other, down by their belly, and that helps raise and lower the trout. If they're going through the water and they wanna go higher or lower without going forward. So we have paired fins and single fins. So what you're gonna do is um, this week, we're gonna be looking at pap the papers you're gonna get and you'll come in and you'll pick up your own trout to fill in. The words are below, so you'll be able to have a clue what you need to be putting where and you'll be able to, you know, if you have a partner to work with, that's great. We're also sending home a paper that gives you the information. Try to do it without the paper, but go ahead and read the different parts yourself and that'll give you more information. Now we talked about the fins and we talked about the color, but there's, there's more things that we can see on the trout. There's a mouth and the mouth has, um, it's an important tool for the trout. There's actually teeth all inside the mouth, in the front, on the roof of the mouth, on the tongue, because not only does it take in water and food, but it, the teeth help to grab the prey, the little fish that they might eat and bring them in further. And then after um, the water comes in, it's gonna go through, there's, you can't really see it completely on here, but um, there's gills. So the water comes in through the mouth and then it goes out the gill. If you lift the little hard piece that's on the fish, that's the piece you can see. You can't actually see the, the gills. We're gonna look at those next week when we look internally. But this cover, if you lifted it, this is what you could see, these, these um, gill filaments. And that's where the fish take oxygen out of the water and then put carbon back into the water, carbon dioxide. So we breathe oxygen from the air and then we breathe out carbon dioxide. They take it from the water and breathe out or carbon dioxide back into the water. There is a little song that goes with this, but I don't think we're gonna do it today. It's an anatomy song and it talks about the different fins and <laughs> it's to the shoulder, to the tune of head and shoulders, knees and toes. And it goes dorsal, pectoral, pelvic, caudal, pelvic, caudal, dorsal, pectoral, pelvic, caudal, pelvic, caudal. And then there's a lateral line, upper kernel limb and gills. And then dorsal, pectoral, pelvic, caudal, pelvic, caudal. And don't forget the anal fin. So, okay, I, I kind of did sing part of it. So not only do we have that, but we're, there's the sensory organs are also available. And like we talked about, the eyes you can see, they could see with. And then there's also that lateral line. That lateral line has a bunch of sensory pores so they can detect water movement. They can um, sense objects in their path. They can even sense chemicals in the water. Then there's that eye, and there's no eyelid on their eye. And if you look in front of the eye, there's a little tiny nose. Our noses stick out. Their nose is actually a hole that goes in, and it's called a nair. And that's what they use to smell the way to go home and lay their eggs. So that's what we're gonna be doing this week is you're gonna look at that exterior of the fish and fill out your paper. So that's another thing you have learned. You guys are gaining so much information. Um, next week, we are going to be meeting in person. I'm so excited to have you come into the library. We're gonna meet in the meeting room and we're gonna dissect fish, not our little babies that are in our tank, but I have some about six to eight inch fish that I've got trays and equipment and you sign up if you're in Trout Club, you sign up to register because we're going to meet in groups of 20 so that we can socially distance and we will go with together and we're going to look at what is inside of the fish. Hearts? Well, they've got them. 
Where is it? Let's find out together. So join us next week. All you have to do is call into the library, 535-8036. Ask to register uh, for a dissection time. It's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and the next Monday. Those will be the days open for 20 seats per sitting. Um, teens, uh, if you're watching this, don't worry about registering because you're going to be with me on Thursday and we're going to have, during Teens Explore, we're going to do our dissection. So I'm really looking forward to it. We've got some special equipment on loan from the high school, so thank you. We want to put a shout out to the high school um, for working with us in this project and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.